These are the best TSD settings for the best performance and the least amount of latency. And I'm also gonna show you how you can turn your game from something like this to something like this, guys, which looks so much better. With the following settings, which I'm about to show you, you can see that I get 700 to 1000 FPS on the brand new Nuke Map here in CS2. First of all, go in the video settings and make sure that you select full screen at the highest refresh rate possible. Then go under advanced video and make sure boost play contrast is enabled. This one is gonna help you out so much to spot enemies in the distance, guys. This is literally the most important feature. Wait for vertical sync only makes sense on 60 to 75 hz monitors other than that leave it on disabled multi sampling anti-aliasing mode leave on 2x this is the sweet spot between visuals and high performance global shadow quality should be on high guys because shadows in cs2 are real time which means if there's an enemy around the corner you can actually see him model textures and details should be on low texture filtering mode on billionaire shader details should be on low particle details should be on low as well ambient occlusion on disabled and now guys high dynamic range you have to put on quality because if you have it on performance your cs2 is gonna look so much worse straight up keep it on quality all of your favorite posts have it on quality too and fidelity fx super resolution i keep on quality i know simple actually has it on disable highest quality but again guys you need super insane specs to actually run then 240 or 360 hertz so therefore leave it on quality additional tip i want to give you is go into your console and type in the view model and actually make sure to put it to the highest one which is actually 68 since this one just overall looks a lot cleaner in my opinion and in the first place guys we're going to be utilizing the nvidia profile inspector since it features a lot more options than the nvidia control panel to actually squeeze out the maximum performance out of our PC for CS2. Just simply click on the link in the description where you can find here now the GitHub link from where you're going to scroll down until you can find the NVIDIA Profile Inspector. And actually guys, I prepared for you a whole entire profile already which you just simply have to import into the tool. You can find it on my Discord, discord.gg slash stripes and under the Performance Packs channels guys, there you can find it. Then we're gonna go back here into the NVIDIA Profile Inspector, click under Import User Defined Profiles, go under Import Profiles and from there you're going to select it and click under Open and then you can already see Profiles successfully imported. Click under okay and literally guys all of these settings are gonna give you the least amount of latency and best performance in cs2 everything is already predefined you don't have to do anything by the way i also fully disabled here g-sync since it actually gives you additional latency and trust me don't play with g-sync in cs2 then also something like the ultra low latency mode is set to ultra then we can also see here under endostrophic filter that actually optimization and sample optimization are turned on and the rest is turned off also for the quality mode it's set to the highest performance and we're already good to go now just simply click on apply and you're already set here Next up guys, we also want to utilize the MSI mode utility to actually reduce our latency or better set the communication type between our CPU and GPU even more. You can find the link to it as well in the description guys, where you just simply have to scroll down a little bit until you can actually find it here, MSI utility version 3 from which you can get it. And once it's running on your PC, you just simply have to find your GPU, which for me is the GeForce RTX 3070 Ti. And all you have to look up guys is the supported modes where you can find now MSI. By the way, this has nothing to do with MSI, it's basically giving your device permission to allocate interrupts and there's a little bit too complicated to actually cover in this short video so therefore the explanation is just going to be right now here on screen if you want to you can google it yourself but what you definitely want to do is check here msi and then under interrupt priority you want to make sure to select normal guys don't put it on high keep it on normal and then hit apply and every time i hop into cs2 i actually use the gear booster which you can try it with the link in the description for absolutely free just simply make sure to select cs2 and it's going to automatically connect you with the best dns server in your near for the least amount of ping you can see i have an improvement of 127 percent which is insane as mentioned you can try it out with the link in the description guys it works for normal premiere community servers or even face it so therefore you should try it out next up guys we're going to take a look at the optimizer version 15.8 which is going to give us a lot of performance optimization steps as well as deep loading features which are going to speed up our pc or better said give us better performance for cs2 you can find the link to it in the description as well guys we're just simply going to scroll down until you can find optimizer 15.8 exa and from there on you can get it once we're in the tool itself guys you can already see a bunch of system tweaks are already predefined something like optimizer optimized performance you can even click onto it and it's going to tell you exactly what is getting applied something like disable low disk space notifications or also something like disable shake to minimize features basically a lot of these windows features which are super hardware demanding and actually slowing down your pc are gonna get fully disabled the same as well with disable telemetry tasks this one is also super important because your pc is actually actively 24 7 in the background sending data to microsoft which are slowing it down since these are services running as mentioned all the time they're pretty hardware demanding so therefore you should definitely make sure to disable it or basically make sure that you keep it on these stock settings and what you have to do now in order to actually activate them is real quick check and uncheck here the first one and then you can see restart to apply changes but before we do that we also want to go over here now to startup in here you please want to make sure that you actually only have tools on your pc right now here in the startup menu which you actually want to start every single time when you launch your pc something like maybe razor cortex i could by the way fully disable so therefore i'm just going to delete it from here and it's not going to get launched every single time when i launch my pc then you're going to go over to cleanup make sure to select temporary file mini 
items, error reports, and your recycling bin. And then you're gonna click under analyze real quick and then under clean. Once you're done with all of these here, you're gonna go under reset to apply changes and wait for your PC to apply all of these tweaks. Next up guys, I also want you to go into GeForce Experience or AMD Catalyst since there's most likely going to be a brand new version of the game ready drivers available now, which are for CS2 also optimized. And this is the trick to make your CS2 now super colorful. Go into your Nvidia control panel, go under adjust desktop color settings, select your monitor and make sure to put digital vibrance all the way up to 75%. Then you're gonna go under adjust video color settings, select your monitor again and in here you're gonna put your saturation to plus 75% as well. Then hit apply real quick, wait for it to load and now your CS2 is gonna look so much better in comparison guys.